The Hunter is, uh, I've been here all my life, the Hunter's changed dramatically. It's, uh, there's a lot of new people, um, very passionate winemakers, making styles of wine that, uh, that are, are very appropriate for where, where the market's heading. They, uh, they're lower in alcohol, they've got some more savoury characters, and they're different, and they're unique in their style, and that's the important thing to understand, that uniqueness there. So whatever variety you, you choose, it's going to have a, a unique character as a result of the Hunter. Hunter is one of those, the great area because we are unique and different. You know, it's like the Semillon, these are, these are not like other wines in this country. This is not part of the generalisation of Australian wine. Yeah. Semillon's the white variety that we do in the Hunter that nobody else in the world can do as well. About 20 odd years ago, I suddenly realised that we had the opportunity to work with something that was totally unique. And not a lot of people anywhere in the world get that opportunity. Um. What makes it so unique is obviously our soils and probably um, most importantly our climate. Um, but what the Hunter does with its soil and climate is we produce very uniquely regional styled wines. The Hunter Valley is one of the most challenging places to make wine in not only in Australia but in, in the world. And I've you know, it sounds a bit corny, but I suppose I've always thought of wine is a reflection of time and place. And when you pull a bottle of a cork or a screw cap off a bottle of wine, that thing that you have in your glass is a reflection, should be a reflection of where the wine is from and when the wine was produced. The Hunter is a challenging place to make wine and there is variation from year to year, but the wines here are really identifiably Hunter Valley. And once you start to realise that and start to pick up the characteristics, whether it be Semillon or be Shiraz, you know, that, that you pick up these hunter characteristics and then you can start to see the variations from vintage to vintage. Welcome to Spitbucket on the road. We are at Scarborough Wines in the Hunter Valley. We are standing in one of Australia's great vineyards, the graveyard. Welcome to Spitbucket, welcome to Brokenwood. And um, as you can see here at Brokenwood, we, we like our hands-on approach. And behind me, uh, the guys are just doing a bit of pigeage, which is jumping into a, a, a vat and plunging the red grapes through the juice. Because of course, to get a good red wine, you need to get the extract out of the grapes. So you get the colour, the tannin, um, the dirty feet, uh, all those lovely characters in, uh, in the wine. Here we get really big variations from year to year and, and some years are fabulous and some years uh, you know, are not so great. And the, the, the idea is the wine, the thing in the bottle that you put down in front of you is such a great representation of this challenging region where we grow grapes. And we have some of the oldest vineyards and some of the best vineyards in Australia that make some really, really fabulous wines. And hopefully when people pick up a glass, they can see, wow, this wine really speaks Hunter Valley and that particular year.